It's week one, and everyone is undefeated. So everyone's got a shot at the Lombardi, right? Looking at you, Browns fans. I'm here with our esteemed NFL reporters who will take out their crystal balls to tell us who's making the playoffs and who's going all the way. Let's start with Lorenzo in New York. So a couple of surprises I have in the NFC, and granted, the New York Giants burned me last year. I had them going through the playoffs. Obviously, that didn't happen. While I'm sticking with them, I have them sneaking in with that last wild card spot. But maybe my biggest surprise of the teams I had to leave out, again, because the NFC is so stacked, are the Atlanta Falcons. And something in my gut tells me that even though a lot of people are picking them to be the Super Bowl winners even, I'm just not buying it right now. So in the Super Bowl, I've been picking the Steelers to beat the Patriots for the past three years. Again, I'm sticking with this also. I, I figure they have to do it at this point. Le'Veon Bell, this might be his last year in Pittsburgh. Ben Roethlisberger is getting older. I think this is a similar situation where that window is narrowing very, very quickly. On the other side, I've got the Rams. I'm just, I love what they've done all, all season. Getting a keep to lead, Marcus Peters, rebuilding that defense, Dominic Sue. Basically going all in to win now. And granted, a lot of new, new parts, so there might be some growing pains, but I'm riding with the Rams. Looking at a couple surprise teams, I think in AFC we could see two. I've got the Colts bouncing back in a big way with Andrew Luck finally being healthy once again. And then I've got the Raiders, John Gruden really breathing life into that franchise and putting them in contention, not just for the regular season, but getting to the playoffs. And then look at our Super Bowl matchup with the New England Patriots and the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, you got two future Hall of Fame quarterbacks right there, but Tom Brady getting the edge over Aaron Rodgers uh, to win it and maybe ride off into the sunset with one more ring. Unfortunately for the Vikings, they are going to be the odd team out despite all the money that they've paid to Kirk Cousins, okay? No, the Atlanta Falcons won't host Super Bowl 53 in their own stadium, but they'll watch one of their division rivals, the New Orleans Saints, win the crown against Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers, who finally get back to the big game. Saints, I'm big on them. I'm bullish. We'll see. Thanks, guys. And be sure to stick with Sports Pulse. Your heartbeat was trending in sports.